Welcome everybody to this new video. This is about adding and removing columns dynamically in Power BI. You can see in this image that, okay, now we are selecting the slicer. We have selected all the slicer options and all the columns got displayed. And now we have selected only in three slicer options in this image and it has displayed only three columns. The remaining two columns it has to. So how we can achieve this, it is very simple. And how we can do it is we have a product table with product name and the categories and the details about the products in other columns. We need to display those details whenever a product is displayed in the slicer. So all the all these category names will be displayed in the slicer and with respect to the categories which we select, those only should be displayed in this table. So we need to do a unpivot option and then we just need to drag and drop it to the metrics table. Two things we need to do that is to have a product table with whatever product name and categories with respect to the product and then we need to unpivot the product table. After that we need to select select only the metrics table. In the visualization, we need to drag and drop all the columns and values and the product name to the slicer as well as the metrics table. We will see how it is being done. Of course, we are having an order fact table. From, from this fact table, from this fact table, we have taken only the product and we have created a product table. And if you will see the product table, what is there on the table? Yeah, we have the product category, subcategory, container, product price, product name, and base margin. So we need to have product name and the remaining column column headings should be shown in the slicer and with respect to the selection we need to display these values in these columns with respect to the selection in the slicer so it should be done dynamically if you are selecting product price it should be shown in the table dynamic and if you are unselecting it it should get deleted from the table so how we can do for that we need to go to the transform data option so we have the product table here and in the transform data option only thing we need to do is that we need to clean the data we need to select the data and create the table whatever things we need in a simple table and we need the product name and the remaining to be shown in the slicer so you can select the product name so here we will take a reference of this product and we will unpivot the product table we can right click and take the reference of this table and here we can change the name to product unpivot and pivot and here we will select the product name and right click unpivot other columns so you will be getting a table like this where we will be getting the product name and the attribute and all these other columns. The columns other than product name will be shown as a column on the attribute heading and the values of these columns will be shown in the values. Actually, we name this because this attribute column we are going to select to the slicer and this product name and these values will be selected in the table. So we will see how it is being done. Here, if you want, you can uh, rename it as column and here then let the value be there. And this is how unreporting is done and we can close and apply. So we can go to the visualization. <coughs> And in the visualization, we need to select the product unpivot table, which we had just now created using unpivot option. And here we will select the slicer first. And in the slicer, we are going to select the column. So these are the columns, and these will be the these will be the columns other than the product name. So we are getting it in a slicer here. You can change the slicer slicer settings and make it horizontal and make it in a way that looks good you can unselect the multi-select with control so that you can select multiple times i mean you can select more than one button one selection you can do it so this is with respect to the slicer and now we are going to take the matrix table do not take the other table we have to take the matrix table only so in this matrix table we are going to give the value to the value field we are going to give the column to the column field and we are going to give the product name to the rows field. so this was how the product table was looking and we started this video and this is the way we got it to undo voting also but we don't need this total we just need to show the product categories and product details only so we can take out the product this total this row row total and column total we can take it off so you can unselect the column total and you can unselect the row totals so we will be getting a table like this so now we are seeing all the columns. Now, if you want to select only one column, we can just select the product profit. Product category we selected and it is showing only the product category. Now, if you want to see the product price, you can just select the product price and it is showing the product price. So if you want more than one columns, you can select the product container also. That will be showing the product container and the product price here. In the same way, if you want to see more than one columns, we can select one by one and it will be showing corresponding in the 
table mentioned here. So if you want to take off the column, so you can just unselect it and the column will be gone from here. The same way we can see you show it in a visual form in a in the chart way also and select a chart here. Even you can use a direct column chart here and you can do the values but here if you see the values will be totally wrong because we are just getting the value as count but here we should that is not the proper value which is shown here so i'm just showing you the option where you can use this here also okay if you select everything this will be increasing the column will be increasing in this stat column chart and if you unselect everything so it will get unselected in this column chart once again this value all, all those values which is shown in this chart is wrong because we are just getting the count of value which is which is not correct so anyway i'm deleting and removing this chart so basically if you are selecting this matrix chart so it will work properly so these are the ways which we can add and remove columns dynamically without using any any other one. And this is very easy and simple to do and it will be more interesting for the report when you use it. Hope this video is fine and you will get insights and encouragement to use more ways in which you can add and remove columns dynamically. Have a nice day.